Hi everybody, welcome to Mike's Garage. Well, here's uh, it's snowing today, and I uh, wanted to tell you that I felt very lucky, uh, if you can believe that, that I didn't have to put up with this kind of cold weather when I was in the military. Uh, I got drafted in 1969, uh, did basic training in uh, North Bragg, I mean Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and then went even further south to Fort Benning, Georgia. Spent about uh, 10 months down there in the engineers, and uh, was really great. Uh, 46th engineers, no, 818th engineers out of Fort Benning. Met a lot of nice guys out there. Uh, Macon was the town that was local. We used to go there on uh, weekends and things like that whenever we could out there. Uh, met a lot, lot of nice guys down there. Jack McCain from California, uh, Mike Shipley, um, uh, all kinds of different guys. Wally Pelton, he was also there. He's also from California. So if you guys are out there, I'm still kicking, still around. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, listen, after that, I went to, um, uh, right around Christmas, I guess, I went to Vietnam. I uh, got there in January, did about 10 months there. That was when they started to pull everybody out early. Uh, I was in the 46th Engineers over there. Right as we were leaving, we started turning the equipment over to the South Vietnamese uh, engineers. They were part of the military. And they were the ones that were going to continue to build the roads and repair anything that was damaged and, and everything like that. So we started turning the equipment over to them. We started turning the fort over to them. As we turned over the different things, they dismantled the um, buildings, <laughs> took them away, and they sold it. And the same thing with the vehicles. We started seeing our vehicles painted a different color driving around downtown Saigon and in the suburbs. So... They really didn't care. I'm sorry. But we were there, wasted all our time. That's my opinion only. Uh, but if, if they don't want to be free, if they don't want to resist the um, onslaught of communism, why are we protecting them? Uh, I don't know. I uh, hope we do something better for Ukraine. Uh, I don't like to see that happen over there. But there's a bully in a schoolyard beating somebody up for 50 days now, 60 days and everybody else is just standing around offering support. Don't get it. Okay, well, I didn't want to go that way, but there it is. So I uh, hope everybody's okay out there. Hope the snow ends soon. Really looking forward to some warm weather. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching Mike's Garage. Take care, everybody. Give me your comments. I want to know what you think about what's going on over there. I mean, I, I can't stop watching the news. Um, I, I cheer inside when they have a military victory. Uh, the, the buildup of the Russian troops, I think they said there's 130,000 additional troops, another 1,000 tanks that are in the area now. They trucked them in, brought them in by railroad. Let's see what's going to happen. I hope we uh, can, can resist this whole thing. Who knows what the plan is, long-term plan. Thanks for watching Mike's Garage. Give me a comment. I want to hear your opinion. Interested in that. Uh, take care. Do something nice for a stranger. Be nice. And uh, subscribe. I need some more subscribers. Trying to get to 1,000. I think I'm at 620 right now. I'm getting close to 1,000. So I could really use your support on that. Click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching Mike's Garage. See you next time.